What's up, YTPC? I'm losing my stuff over here. Uncle Willie coming to you on this wet Friday from the mobile lounge. Disclaimer. There will be no guns, holsters, or cigars visible in the making of this video. Please stick around. What's up, people? I, I've noticed... I've noticed whenever I do a video with guns or holsters and even cigars, something that's non-related to the YTPC, some people, my, my viewer, my viewing count goes down. It's like they get lost in the description or the headline of it and the title of it and don't watch it. I've noticed that in different videos over the past. And then sometimes I had a gun video that went off the chart. Depends on who sees it. That's why we need to hit like on everybody's video. If you like it, hit like. If you don't, then scroll on. That's, that's understandable. But if you like it, hit like. It's funny that I can have 45 or 65 or 98 views, but only 14 thumbs up. Not that hard. So anyway, one reason I said that those items would not be visible, because I might touch base on one of the items in question. But to start with, I am smoking my Savinelli Paloma. Yes, beautiful, smooth. Look at that green. Beautiful, smooth, 510KS. This is the Paloma series. And uh, it's a nine millimeter filter, but I don't have a filter in it. I have the reducer that actually takes it down from nine millimeter to six millimeter, I think. <coughs> but that's what I'm smoking. Oh, that's the pipe I'm using to smoke. I am smoking some Sam Goweth Brown Number Four. Now, this is where, when I said those items wouldn't be visible, this is where that disclaimer comes into use because Sam Goweth Brown Number Four is the components that make up this blend is Virginia, secretive of what kind of Virginia. Dark Fire Kentucky and Cigar Leaf. So I am smoking a cigar in a sense. But now in all of the cigar in defense of all of the tobaccos that are blended with Cigar Leaf 99% of them does not taste like a cigar. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say 100% of the ones that I have smoked, which has probably only been about a half a dozen cigar leaf, does not taste like a cigar. So don't go in expecting for the pipe tobacco to taste like a cigar. It's just a condiment and it plays well with others, such as this one. You got the Virginia's. So I'm going to go and say that they're probably from uh, Malawi or somewhere because that's typical of where their Virginias come from. Some kind of exotic. Then the dark fired, we all know they had the best dark fired there is. And then cigar leaf. It doesn't even say what kind. If it's a Criollo or Corojo or Maduro, it doesn't even say what kind. 
It just says that it's wrapped and steamed and all into a rope. And y'all are probably saying, well, why are you smoking that pipe instead of your Peterson that I have donned for my ropes exclusively? And then I will say, because this has cigar leaf. So I wanted to smoke it in a fresher pipe and get a fresher taste. And I can't say aroma because I can't smell it once I light it. Nice, smoky, full, chewy. No tongue bite whatsoever. Great mouth feel. You can feel when you take a draw, a puff, whatever you want to call it. When you take a draw off of it, you can feel you have a mouthful of smoke. It's not like some of the other blends that are airy that you just like. You feel like Shane Ireland where there's nothing there. I call Shane Ireland a smokeless smoker. Some of y'all might relate to what I'm talking about, but this stuff is got a flavor of its own in the rope category because of the cigar leaf taking it out of the plain smoky burnt in tasting type of dark smoked tobacco. This isn't as sweet to me, in my opinion, your mileage may vary, but in my opinion, this brown number four is not as sweet as, say, the brown bogey or even the, the black Irish and or the brown Irish X. Sam Gower Black XX, that's in a class of its own. It don't even taste like none of the others. It's like smoking a freaking piece of ta uh, uh, telephone cable. <laughs> but it's a good channel. As you're smoking it, you're watching a good channel. It's like watching a cooking channel. I have some, and I like it, so I'm not putting it down. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. I did a uh, video already. And I didn't like the outcome. So I cut it off and redid it. So here is what the rope looks like. I got a piece. The piece I have is the eight, eight uh, half pound box. This is the second bowl out of it. So not even this much is missing. This is about three bowls right there. There's not even this much missing out of it. And the rope is like 18. You can't see my fingers because it goes beyond the screen. But it's about 18 inches, almost 20 inches long for a hunk of rope like, like that big. When I prepare it, I cut these just a little bit thicker just for... Uh, demonstration purposes there is almost an eighth inch thick and I got I, I'd cut four of them to bring it out to show you what they look like and there's three of them the fourth one So it usually takes about five being cut that thick, four, maybe five, because it breaks up into a real, real long ribbon, as you can tell. And then with it being moist as it is, if you pack it, you got to pack it kind of light because if not, you, when it expands, it's not going to burn. And I think that I actually uh, 
push this down a little too much and plus the Virginias are uh, starting to crust up on the top you just just do a couple little pokes through it to get get through that crust of Virginia Man, it's good stuff. It's in a class of its own. Like I say, it's not as smoky tasting barbecue wise. It doesn't taste like the burnt ends, like the uh, brown bogey or the brown X, Irish X. This isn't as sweet. But it, it's still smoky of its own descent. It has a nice thick chewy mouthfeel without the sweetness. It's just a strong mellow. And if you're I don't feel a lot of nicotine out of this, which I'm I don't get the nicotine rarely. I don't think that you'd have a problem with this. This isn't like some of the other ropes. And I think the cigar contributes to some of the mellowness that brings it back down from being a hard, smoky. This, if you if you were to blend to, to compare this like with whiskey, instead of being a bourbon whiskey, this would be more like a blended whiskey. If that makes any sense to you, whiskey drinkers, and the difference of of the strength of the. It's the way I can, can uh, relate to it. So now, I did go to Boswell's yesterday because they were having a cigar event and I didn't bring nothing out to show and I waited till the end to tell you about it so I didn't lose none of you. Now, if you don't watch the rest of it next couple minutes, at least I caught your attention for the first 12. I bought a box of H99s. Some of y'all know how rare they are. I got a box of those, a box of uh, feral pigs, and a box of the new uh, Metallica blend, M81, the Blackened by Drew Estate, which is Metallica, Dietrich from Blackened Cigar, or Blackened Whiskey, and Jonathan Drew are the blenders of the M81. And the name of it is Blackened after the whiskey, but the call it the M81 for Metallica, and 81 is when they started. Plus I got all kind of swag that went with it, man. I got I got a bourbon bottle tote, a big ashtray to shaped like uh, James Hatfield's guitar bunch of free cigars and stuff. I didn't want to bring it out and show you. And I got a badass lighter that I will show you that in an upcoming video. I've never seen one like this. So I'm going to jump, get this thing lit up, give it some attention that it deserves. Because with me talking while well, this is, it just is getting, you know, petty. So I got to give it some attention, some TLC. So you know what's next. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. And with that being said, until next time, you know what to do. Stuff them and puff them.